<laughs> hey, cutie. Oops. We're getting bumped out of the way, Reese. Bumped out of the way by the big snowball. Love you, Ray. You're such a good girl. Hello, piggy people. So I have good news. Raisin is officially back with the herd. So today is a Wednesday. She went back Monday night. So we did a cage clean, put her back. And for about two hours, everything was hunky-dory. She was excited to be back. And then we did have a little bit of a power struggle between her and Velvet. So normally, the hierarchy of the herd is Huckle, Pecan, Reese, Raisin, Velvet. But while Raisin was gone, Velvet overthrew Reese. Reese is a pig who isn't going to fight, so... I've been noticing for a while that Velvet was kind of able to push her out of the way for things. So I think while Raisin was gone, she officially became a boss over Reese. So then once Raisin came back, Velvet obviously wanted to be the boss over her as well. And at first Raisin was not happy with this. And Raisin's the type of piggy who at first she gets very freaked out about things and calms down later. So. She was good for about two hours and then they were just in the hay pile across from each other and it started. And Raisin had all of her hackles, so all her fur around her shoulders and neck were puffed right up. Uh, she was doing like the little side stepping, waggling her bum, like looking like she was ready to jump velvet. So that wasn't very exciting to see because I was just like, oh no, here we go. But thankfully, Huckle the hero, little Huck man is awesome, so he actually stepped in to break up the, any fights before they happened. I wish I had it on camera, but my camera that I charged all day to record stuff, for whatever reason the battery only had 30 seconds of life in it. But anyway, so what he would do is they would be face to face, he shoved himself right between them and would rumble and then would like push one of the pigs away and rumble and be pushing the other pig and then that would break the tension and they would go off and do their own thing and later when they would see each other again and if things were getting heated again he would come flying from across the cage to rumble and get between them it was crazy it was so cool at the time I wasn't having the best time because I was all nervous I just want pigs to be happy but reflecting on it now it was really cool so it was like little Hucky flying down the cage with a little cape on telling the ladies to knock it off and it worked because after a while he diffused it and then they just went to where Raisin started to just give Velvet more room and not fight her I saw last night a couple times where if Raisin was too close to Velvet, Velvet chased her for a second to get away. But I think they're calmer now today. So luckily there was no fighting. Um, you know, pigs are very interesting. That's why when they're off from surgery, even though she was right beside them, that's why I just chose to still do a full introduction with a clean cage just because lifting the barriers probably could have been an instant fight. So it's very interesting how piggies work. I'm just glad that everybody's comfortable. So it's nice to have everybody back. And her incision line looks really good. So that was awesome. Everybody else is doing really well. So we have Annie here and Annabelle. So the other day, well, it was probably like a week ago or more, Annabelle actually had a bite, like a scab on her neck, on the front of her neck, which I'm sure is from Annie snapping at her. It was already pretty healed when I saw it, so I checked it out to make sure it didn't feel like there was any pus or anything behind it, and it's fallen off and healed. So what these two girls do, I mean, they're sisters. They get along well, but they still are a bit snappy sometimes 
so Annie will sometimes be trying to push her sister back and they both have their heads up and I'll watch her and she does like the snaps to tell her to get back so I bet she accidentally or maybe she purposely we don't know um, grabbed her neck and caused a little injury so that's the problem with skinny pigs right it's there's no fur to protect it where if they were furry pigs it would have been nothing more than an innocent nip but yeah she definitely grabbed her neck so thankfully nothing was wrong with it because this was during um, raisins recovery so I don't think I noticed it because I was distracted because I noticed it later one night when it was already scabbed over pigs I tell ya you never know and then here is Angus and Autumn hi buddy how are you you miss Autumn these two always leave their peppers for the very last sometimes I have to take them out eventually because they don't eat them all they ate some but peppers aren't their favorite but I do like giving peppers so that they have some extra vitamin C but it's funny because everybody else eats absolutely everything right away and these two are kind of like meh who knew that velvet would be so bossy I actually see velvet um, not push tubbies but she'll make like pecan she'll make her move out of the way so pecan's the type of pig who's not going to start a fight with anybody so if somebody wants her to move bad enough she's just going to move and get over it and I've watched Velvet like stand right behind her when she's eating pellets or having a drink of water and then Pecan will just be like okay fine you take it she's just so sweet aren't you tubbies you're so sweet but I wouldn't mess with that big lady either she oh you tell her is she in your way? She doesn't listen very well, does she? Do you want me to give you more hay? Maybe I'll give her, grab a little bit more. Here we go. There you go. There's a big booty that was in your way for me eating, wasn't there? You're not supposed to be eating too many of those, did you know that? Yeah, I know, you don't care. Still been doing the same thing where I take their pellets out at night and just pecan has pellets in her section. So Sherwood's making the exact same formula of pellets I use right now, but not so concentrated so that it's better to free feed. Because this stuff is supposed to be limited, but I find it extremely hard to do when you have a herd to limit because how do you know who's ate what at what time and with having a senior in the cage who doesn't get veggies I always wanted to make sure she has access to pellets for her vitamins and vitamin C all that stuff so I'm going to be switching to the formula that they're coming up that just came out that isn't so concentrated because this stuff has is like packed with lots of protein and stuff and I think that could be a contributing factor for why some of the piggies have gotten a little too chubby. So hopefully the other formula, if Reese eats a little extra, it's not going to have such an impact on her weight. How are you doing, Ray? My little bumblebee. She was so cute when she came back and she was doing some popcorns and being all cheery. It was nice to see. I'm sure she didn't expect uh, Velvet to be a little bit of a butthead, but it's just crazy how pigs change. One pig's gone for two weeks, well right next door and loses their spot in the hierarchy. But hey, that's what happens. little cutie bum. I'm just glad that she's all fixed up and don't have to worry about her bleeding anymore because obviously that was scary. Alright guys, so I will talk to you later. Bye! 
If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!